Why Bumble doesn't work for women. Okay, I've been on Bumble for a long time, okay? Just to see what all the hype was about. So I've been on it for over two years or so, and guess what? Like, 90% of the chicks that matched with me in 2019 are still there in 2021. And don't say they forgot to delete it, because I know women are all about deleting that profile. It's a freaking wine ceremony for them, okay? They can't wait to do it. And some of them will delete their profile, and then guess what? Three weeks later, they're back on. Another dude that they thought was the one didn't work out for them. And it's the same chicks I see over and over in my feed, going through the Bumble Cycle. And I'll explain what the Bumble Cycle is later on in the video. Okay, so Bumble is like Tinder, but it's for chicks in their 30s. And it's mostly career chicks that brag about spending their weekends in wine country, and they've traveled to all these great places, and they want to prove that they're better than you and all this stuff. And, well anyways, the average woman on there is in her mid-30s, and they have a pretty decent career. So, or so they claim. You know, so the average bubble chick is, let's say, 35 years old, and she makes like $70,000 a year as a project manager. By the way, there's a lot of chicks on there that are project managers. I don't know exactly what a project manager is, but there's a shit ton of them on there. Anyways, so by the time a chick is 35, she's had like almost 20 years experience with dating. So she basically gets pickier and pickier as she gets older. Because she's been around dates longer and she's analyzing dudes and trying to identify these so-called red flags. If she meets a guy and he does anything that reminds her of one of her exes in any way, she will choose not to keep seeing him, okay? So if she finds out on a date that the dude she's dating has some sort of harmless habit, and her ex had that same habit, she will choose not to keep seeing the guy because that's some sort of red flag to her. So 90% of the dudes that she goes out with aren't going to be good enough for her. And they're also really picky too because a lot of these career women in their 30s are also addicted to Netflix series and soap operas and just TV in general. And TV gives them this idea that there's a ton of single, tall, good-looking CEOs running all over dating apps, you know? They seriously think that, th that there's a bunch of single millionaire CEOs and they are so ready to date a 35-year-old project manager, right? Even the commercials for dating apps feature like these model-looking dudes. So they think that the app is full of these guys, right? Okay, so the way that a woman's mind works is she thinks that the man she dates needs to make more money than her. She will not settle for anything less, okay? Even at age 35, she still thinks Mr. Perfect might be out there. So if she's making 70 G's a year, Mr. Dream Guy needs to make at least 90 G's. But the problem is, if there's some dude making 90 G's a year, he's not going to be going for a 35-year-old project manager, right? He's going to snag him a 21-year-old and he don't care where she works at. And women can't accept the fact that when their age increases, their overall value goes down. And they try to make up for it by getting a professional career, like being a project manager. But what they fail to realize is once they get married and have a kid, their $70,000 a year project managing job is history. They get used to staying at home with the kid for a year or two, then guess what? Being a full-time mother is good enough at that point. Managing a kid is the only project she wants to do at that point. But okay, let's just say for the hell of it that your average bumble 35-year-old project manager actually found the man of her dreams. Congratulations, she found him. So they go on date number one, and everything goes perfect. So then they go on date number two, and it's magical and romantic. She starts bragging to her friends that she found the perfect guy, and then date number three happens, and they have sex together, and everything was perfect. She was falling in love, she finally found the man of her dreams, but, uh-oh, he's not responding to her texts. What's happening? She's starting to panic. Maybe he lost cell phone reception. Maybe he couldn't afford his bill. Maybe he went on a camping trip. 
So many thoughts are running through her head. She's starting to freak out. She doesn't hear from him like in a week. And then all of a sudden, she gets the dreaded text that reads, I had fun hanging out with you, but I'm gonna keep dating and keep my options open. Uh, good luck. And just like that, she is totally crushed. She thought after holding out for so many years that Mr. CEO was gonna be the man in her life. But she was totally wrong. And he wants to keep exploring his options, he said. And the reason why? There's a ton of 35-year-old project managers on Bubble just waiting to date him. So what Mr. Millionaire CEO does is he pumps and dumps all these chicks because he's exactly what they're looking for. Tons of chicks have been holding out for a dude like him. It's just a vicious cycle of these 35-year-old bubble chicks dating a bunch of dudes that they think aren't good enough for them. So they date a bunch of different guys, average guys, for a year or so. And when they finally get to a date with Mr. CEO, Mr. Perfect, they delete their account on date number two because she thinks that he's the one. And later she finds out that he was just a pump and dump. So basically, the type of guy a 35-year-old woman wants is him. And that same guy doesn't want a 35-year-old woman. He wants more like a 25-year-old woman. So the Bumble cycle goes a little bit like this. So she recreates her Bumble account and she spends the next year dating 30 guys who aren't going to be good enough for her. And when she finally finds a good man, Mr. Perfect CEO, she deletes her account on the second date, and then later she finds out that he was just pumping and dumping, and guess who recreates another Bumble profile? You guessed it, our 35-year-old project manager. And the cycle continues.